Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Caleb Dennison. Coming up, Honda takes to the air, a reporter goes one-to-one -one at Goodwood, and a Kickstarter project every beer lover should back immediately. Honda is known for its highly reliable cars and championship winning motorcycles, of course, but it may come as a surprise that the company has also built an airplane, and a quite nice one at that. Creatively called the Honda Jet, the company's first foray into general aviation took flight on Tuesday in a major step towards FAA certification. Honda's little jet is made in America and goes almost 500 miles an hour. It only seats four passengers plus two crew members, but the most unusual feature is engine placement. The tiny twin jet turbines are mounted on pylons on the wings instead of at the back of the plane as seen on this Learjet. Why on the wings? Well, only Honda knows, but if you decide to pay them about five million for one, I'm pretty sure they'll tell you all about it. It's that time of year again when the 1% bring their fast toys and Grey Poupon to England for the annual Goodwood Festival of Speed. Watch it out there, my good man. I hear that turn six is a real rascal. Anyway, Swedish supercar maker Koenigsegg was there, of course, showing off its latest creation, the 1-1, a spendy little number so named because it features one horsepower for every kilo of weight, or about 1,400 horsepower. Lowly Goodwood reporter Andy Craig got the thrill of a lifetime when, during an interview, the Koenigsegg guy offered to let him take it around the track, making him the first civilian to drive the insane car outside of company personnel. So, did he ball up the multi-million dollar car in a fit of horsepower-induced enthusiasm? Uh, no. As you can see here, he took it pretty easy. Sometimes just being the first guy to drive one of the world's most expensive cars is enough. Instant artisan coffee makers like the Keurig machine are popular for a reason. They make great coffee and fast. If only someone would do the same thing for beer. Well, of course someone can. That's what Kickstarter is for, right? Beer lover Steve Young has posted the Cynic beer machine on the crowdfunding site, and the money is pouring in. So does it make suds from powdered beer? No, thank God. Instead, it's more like a tabletop kegerator that you can fill with your favorite brew. Key features include a nifty filling system that removes air from the container, trapping the carbonation in the beer to keep it from going flat. The Cynic holds a gallon of beer, roughly the same as uh, two growlers. Young is looking to raise a quarter million dollars to fund development of his wonderful invention. So if you can pony up 300 bucks, you can toast your wise investment for years to come. That's it for DT Daily Today. We'll see you tomorrow.